Welcome back everybody. Got a great video for you today. It's a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. This is my new tool. Some people call it a 3D printer. I'm focused on using it as a tool though. Although it does make pretty cool toy boats. This was sent out to me by Anchor Make. I am not experienced at all in 3D printing. I think there's a lot of guys out there like me who would like to get into using a 3D printer as a tool and that's why I'm making this video. I'm not looking to get into the hobby of printing off figurines and Star Wars figures or anything like that. My ultimate goal is to design parts and print them. Not necessarily toys, although there are lots of toys that you can print. Anchor Make says that this takes about 15 minutes to assemble. As you can see by the video, the handyman made quick work of it in about seven minutes. I couldn't believe it was that easy uh, to put together. Anybody can put this thing together. Do not be intimidated by the assembly of a 3D printer. I mean, when I say I'm a beginner, I never heard of a G-code. I believe it's an STL or SLT file. I've never heard of a slicer. I have heard of AutoCAD and Fusion. Those are two programs that you use to create your model. And once you create your model, then you have to get it sliced by another program. So once I got this assembled, I plugged it in, turned it on, I downloaded the phone app, I started the auto leveling process. That auto leveling feature is a necessary feature on a new modern 3D printer. Once it went through the auto leveling process, I wanna print something through the app. I was easily able to find this little boat. Through the app, you can start printing uh, when you're not in front of the printer. You don't even need to be here. It just needs to be turned on. It connects through your wireless internet. You can monitor it from anywhere that you have internet connection, which I thought was kind of cool. Outside of creating my own parts for my own projects, my kids often break their own toys. And I thought it would be a cool idea to be able to use a 3D printer for my kids to fix their own toys. Instead of just throwing it in the trash and buying another one, say, hey, let's uh, go on the computer, let's draw up a part for your toy, and we'll go 3D print it and pop it back together. The Anchor Make 3D printer made it very easy. It was 100% plug and play. If you've been thinking about getting into it, I recommend it. There'll be a link down in the description of where you can get your Anchor Make 3D printer. I did print this with PLA Plus from Anchor Make. They sent out red and black. You can get this in a whole bunch of different colors. So I showed my two and a half year old this little boat and he was amazed by it. And he said, mine forever. Well, I've got more than one kid. So I'm gonna try my luck at printing another one and see if it's as easy as the first one was. So here's a view of the app. This is a countdown for when it starts printing. This is the temperature of the nozzle, the heat bed. Just go to explore is where I found this little boat. I did clean this whole area off with isopropyl alcohol after the last print. So that's like an outline of the boat. And here's your countdown. It's gonna tell you what time it should be done by. 10.02 p.m., 48 minutes left till we get another red boat so we don't have any fights over the red boat. It's been less than 24 hours and the addiction has set in. <whistles> Made a whistle. The Anchor Make 3D printer and everything that goes with it. They have makeitreal.anchormake.com. That's where you can select files pre-made. They also have the Anchor Make Studio. I've been using it for about 30 minutes and I've already downloaded two STL files for a robot and its feet. I've scaled them down to 50% because at 100% it's huge and it was gonna take 14 hours to print. So here's a quick look at the robot. It's in red and I've shrunk it down. Over here are the two STL files for the body and the foot. I'm gonna hit slice now. Clean this off. 
this off, this off. I'm gonna clean this whole thing, isopropyl alcohol, and get these, these pieces off. Okay, we're gonna hit the print button and see what happens. It's transferring 100%. You can see this M starting to glow. That means it's heating up. It also says heating up there. This is doing this all through Wi-Fi. You can see the nozzle temperature coming up. You go over to the same app on your phone and it's all matched up. So you can go to the grocery store, you can go to sleep, and in four hours and six minutes, I should have a robot. Kids should be just getting home from school and hopefully I'll be able to share with you a pretty sweet robot. So we're about three hours in and can't believe it. So far, it's doing perfect. You can see the little balls and sockets around the wrists, the arms. You want to stand up here? Right. You stand right there. Does this robot um, come apart? Uh, I don't know. I haven't even taken it off yet. Shh. Blow hard. Shh. Shh. Yeah, you can have that boat. Let's see here. Hold on. Blow hard. Just blow through it. Yeah, it's upside down. Oop. Blow. No, don't make any noise. Just blow air. Shh. Harder. Shh. One more time, harder. There you go. <laughs> you guys are slobbering. That's what it looks like after over four hours. And Does that have hair on it? Uh, that's from the 3D printing. These are its feet. We'll set this these down. Whoa. Is there a head on there? Yeah, there's a head on there. Where? That's his head. It's a robot head right there. Oh. So this thing printed with arms and uh oh one hand stuck together we may have to work that one a little bit it's got ankles that move i'm not sure if the knees are supposed to be snapped off here or not i'm going to try to get it in the feet there is a chance that this doesn't fit because i had to scale two separate files i scaled them at uh, 50.52 percent each Excavator robot, I think is what it's called. And see, it has the little M, and that M matches the M right there. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool, huh? This has been the first 24 hours with my first 3D printer, the Anchor Make M5C. M5C? What does that mean? Uh, that's the model that this is. This is the M5C oh. by Anchor Make. So we're going to have to find some other things to make. Can but, I have it? Uh, well... I'm going to have to make another one because I know you guys are going to fight over this. Why don't you guys play with your boats? Why? Because there's only one of these. Place your bets. How long before this thing is broken and I'm out here printing another one? Thanks for watching. Goodbye.